What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. I have made a definitive decision. We've got a bumper episode for you today, uh, some SBCs, a new team, some uh, draft gameplay and a draft win, uh, lots of packs including some really good packs as well. Um, and uh, yeah, I've made a decision guys, I am going to clear out the whole club. I've been teetering back and forth. Uh, deciding on what to do. Uh, I'm still going to engage in a few different trading methods, um, a few specific ones that I've got that you guys will see. Uh, I'm also going to continue doing three league SBCs. I'm going to continue doing the Bundesliga, the Syria, and the Turkish League. Um, I'll explain why those three specifically in another video, but that, that might change based on... Um, what EA do over the next few days. If we get new league SBCs, that might change. And in terms of like uh, Premier League and La Liga, I'm actually not going to sell any items from those leagues um, because obviously I just, I have the whole set done. Like, I mean, we got it all. They're, they're, I don't think there's a single club where I don't have at least like eight or nine players. Most of the clubs are fully 100% completed for Premier League. And then the same uh, same situation, maybe, maybe not fully for the Le La Liga, um, but mostly done. Athletic club, like, you know, Barcelona, Real Madrid, de depending on what EA do with regards to, uh, look at that, even Atletico Madrid is done. Yeah, depending on what EA do with regards to how many players are going to be required, um, I may have uh, Barcelona and Real Madrid done. I may not. Well, Barcelona, I definitely don't. I've got no players there. Uh, so maybe I should actually go and invest in some Barcelona players because there's no reason to purchase them right now. Uh, but the rest of the league... It's just, it's all there. Even Valladolid, man. We've got half of Valladolid. I might actually go and fill up on Valladolid as well. Uh, would be quite smart because they're always one that goes quite expensive. And Mallorca as well. I've got five silvers already. Uh, but it might be worth me going and picking up the other silvers. Real Madrid, we're in a good spot with. We've got loads of players. So there you go, guys. You can see like for La Liga and Premier League, I'm just going to hold on to those just because we've got them done for when League SBCs come. Um, and then uh, outside of that, I'm going to sell everything, uh, it, literally everything. I mean, every single thing. And the reason why I'm going to start selling everything is because it's so easy, genuinely so easy to start again. Um, it's so easy to just do gold pack method and get those, uh, you know, those easy coins. Now, a lot of this stuff isn't selling. I'm, I'm wasting my own time and space with these uh, Brazilian right backs. I think I, it might even be worth me dropping these guys, uh, taking even just a few hundred coin losses if I need to, uh, just to get rid of them, um, ju just, to, just to get the trade pile space back. Because if I want to um, sell everything, I really am going to need 100 trade pile spaces as much as possible every time, right? Because if I'm only working with 70 trade pile spaces, it's just going to take an awful lot longer to get through... Um, everything that we've got to get through. Let me go to, uh, yeah, see these Rodrigos, for example. I actually think I bought those Rodrigos at quite high prices. Uh, Liga Nos, I'm no longer going to be doing. Um, Liga Nos is just way too expensive, right? He didn't sell, he didn't sell, and he didn't sell. So we'll discard those. Uh, Grant will actually send back into the club. Um, he can go. What do we pick him up for? Oh, I actually packed him. He's under a thousand coins now. Weird how the silver, so the silver market is another one that I'm going to engage in, but it's weird how the silver market fluctuates so much. Um, and then I, I tried, I, I packed this guy as a duplicate, sold him for a thousand coins. I had it obviously one in the club, uh, the lowest, there you go, now is 200 coins, now he's worthless. The, I, I tried to get 1400 coins for him, got greedy, lost out, and there you go. Um, Anarik here, he's, Jesus, he's down at 1400. Um, but yeah, basically, uh, we're going to try our best. Um, to uh, to make as much profit as we can, as quick as we can. So when Team of the Year does come around, we do have lots and lots and lots of coins. Now, I'm even selling... I've got like Patrick Vieira on the transfer list. I'll, I'll take a coin loss on Vieira. I just want to have as much available as possible um, for when... Man, there was only one on the market yesterday. Dude, it's 1.9 still there. Let's, let's drop mine down to like 1.3, see if we can get some coins for that. Those catalysts will be selling. They're selling to lazy buyers anyway. These Rodrigos, they, they, they might be... Uh, I know I picked up some of them for like 1,800 coins, 1,900 coins and stuff. If I can obviously get even two or 300 coins profit on them, that's nice. And I will go back to trading these sort of cards um, like Rodrigo, Leo Matos, Gael Clichy, um, 
Fangioni. Uh, there, there's there's like a whole bunch of cards basically that, that are good to trade. A whole bunch of fullbacks and, and left mids and right mids that just come up at a high price. But also a load of consumables right now. Cam to centre mid and CDM to centre mid are good to just buy lazily or, or buy, you know, snipe for 10% cheaper and sell for a little bit more. Um, and uh, we're just going to work real hard and, and do our best to make sure that we can make as many coins as possible. And I, I want to kind of sell consumables to lazy buyers and make sure I make some profit on the consumables that I've got, but I'm not overly stressed on trying to sell them, mostly because they they move so wildly, you know what I mean? Like, I'm more interested in trying to get rid of players than consumables, um, and so I, I also want to show again why. Oh, look at that. that lamp. Wow, I wasn't too far off at 2K. They are creeping back up. Um, I wasn't too far off. Um, is everything listed now? Yeah, I wasn't too far off. Yeah, no, with Leo Matos, I wasn't too far off um, the the right price for them. To be fair, I probably would have started. They probably would have shifted up towards that mark eventually. Um, but basically, because of what you're about to see, I like it's so easy, man. The gold pack method works so well. Obviously, not when you don't have um, when you've got loads of stuff in the club. It works very much less well. Uh, but this method works so well that once I sold everything, I'll have so many coins to start again that it will just be easy to start again. Um, so we'll get one player that we don't already have, although we will list him. Because uh, as I say, I'm not I'm not keeping anything. Contracts are a bit different because they don't sell right now. Um, we're going to kind of got to wait for contracts to be uh, valuable because of icon swaps, I'm hoping. I'm hoping icon swaps on Thursday will give me a lot more coins back. But basically, once, um, once we've uh, cleared out the club, it will be a massive pack party. Bronze, silvers, and gold packs. We're just going to get as much as we can. Um, so that's the plan, guys. And for now, I'm going to show you guys um, basically everything we did yesterday. And uh, yeah, we're, we're going to go from there. German! Goalkeeper! Ter Stegen! Hey, let's go, man. That is why the 5K... Give me a Hunter or a Shadow in here as well. Come on. Oh, unlucky. I'm not gifting the subs today that I was going to gift, right? Three subs we was going to gift. Buzzer let me down. Greyhound Guru, thank you for the sub, man. Welcome to Team Sweat, bro. Ooh. Oh, what's that? That's 1,500. Yellow, 2,500. 3,500. 4,000. 4,500. 5,500. Oh! Banking! Oh, saying so! Say ain't so. That's what's up, man. We'll do another one. We'll do another one. Why the hell not? Charlie Boy, thank you for the nine months, man. I appreciate it. Couple squad fitness cards in there as well. Hey, man, we just made about 10, 15K off of that pack. Happy days. Happy days. Oh, this is, this is, this is too easy. This is too easy. Leicester kit sells, does it? Oh, never mind. How much for? Hopefully not too much. Another 15. Oh, that's boards. That's boards. Not walkout. What's happening? Brazil. CDM. Oh, unlucky. <laughs> Although we're still probably going to make profit off of this pack. Oh, gee, geez. That's like 4K. And then Genie Wijnaldum. Ooh, that's like six and a half. Oh, five and a half K. God damn it. Hey, but that's profit again. That is profit. A couple more squad fitness cards. Hell yeah, give me that. Oh, say so. Say so. It's too easy. It's too easy. Oh, my days. What is happening? What is happening? I'll do one more for that. <laughs> All right, so the Syria is done again. We snipe this guy. Oh, I'm I'm just quick with the trick. It's the it's it's the scuff controller, man. It helps you snipe players for like five k cheaper, guys. So if you want players for cheaper, just use scuff controllers. Use use code Nepenthes at checkout and get a discount. Um, but this is the Syria done. Uh, I already have Tonali, of course, so I'll be taking Dalbert. Not that he'll get into my team. Um, 
but uh, it's nice to have him. Quality card. High medium. Three star, three star. Great card. Great card. Um, just doesn't fit into my team. Uh, another Brazilian in the books, though, which is nice. Uh, we, we, I'm going to redo today for today's video, guys. We're going to do loads of league SPCs, loads. Um, and I'm going to open all the packs all at once with you guys. Um, so in the meantime, I'm just going to open this one pack now just for the for the, for the kicks. Um, they, hey, we got we got a player that's going to help us through the Serie A again. And we're going to start with the Serie A again. Now, I'm not going to complete the Serie A again because I've got about five squads. I'm nowhere near completing, but we, we're going to get about 15 squads uh coming in real hot so i will be right back all right guys so 13 packs from the syria sbc uh, we've got seven part finished teams that we didn't get to for this section and then we're going to move on to another one i just i think i'm just going to do them in order I, I don't care you know at the end of the day it comes down to luck if you luck's in you luck's in hopefully um from the uh hopefully from these packs we get some good consumables Anchors, shadows, hunters, uh, any players to fill up the club would be very, very welcomed. Um... Hey, man. Come on now, yeah. You're just making it too easy for me. You're just making it too easy. Another 12.5k from that hunter straight off the bat. Let's go, man. That's a big one. And then a jumbo premium gold pack. Now, if this doesn't have two shadows and an icon in it, something's wrong. We don't get boards. I'll skip through it because it's not boards. Um, I'm excited to see the consumables again, man. Uh, some good some good stuff to start with. <laughs> I mean, an anchor chem style coming in at like three and a half, four K. Thank you very much, EA. And a thousand coin unlock. Can't be mad at that. Let's get our first big card out here. Oh, we got boards. Come on. Not a walkout, just boards. Who's it going to be? Big 85s. 83, an icon, our first icon, not bad. Um, is Casillas worth selling right now or probably worth holding on to? Oh yeah, under 2k for him, definitely worth holding on to. Uh, Bender, maybe 1400 coins for him. If he goes just for like the 700, 800 on bid, so be it. Jose Sa. Um, and right, so I'm going to open a mega pack first because those small, two, wait, is that another small prime gold players pack? I thought I had two. Oh, we got boards, come on. Not a walkout. Portugal, right back. Left mid. Rafa. No, not Rafa. Guedes. Is Guedes worth... Uh... Is Guedes worth anything? Oh, Rafa is in there as well. I just, I just knew. 3.5k for him. Hell yeah. Is Rafa worth anything as well? Just a little... Yeah, a little more than normal. I'll take that. those coins as well right there. Um, another Serie A player. Some more consumables. Come on. Three pack. Don't be a contract pack. Jumbo gold pack. Let's go, man. Oh, look at all these dupes. Berg win. I'm in at... Uh, tw Mate, if we get another Shadow or Hunter out of this, I'll be so happy. As they say uh, in the land of the YouTubers, I'll be mad haps. And so before we move on to the next league, which is probably going to be a minor league uh, with lots of silver packs, which you guys won't see. I'll just save the gold packs. We get... A small rare gold players pack. Come on, EA. Boards, come on. Something huge for the last one. <sighs> Vidal? Please be Vidal. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, Hunter was the most expensive thing we packed out of all of that. Oh, hold on. Oh, that's alright though. Lamar's another good one, right? A few thousand coins. Um and then another Juve player back which is nice. Pozuelo is not worth much at all. Uh, so before we do any more League SBCs, though, I need to wait for my trade part. Oh, no, we're nine, nine, nine out again. Yeah, lots of sales, man. We are progressing hard right here. We just made, since I started streaming just an hour and a half ago, we've made about 100,000 coins. Um, some of it as well from like the, the gold pack and the 15k pack method. We, we opened a few gold packs and we hit a Ter Stegen. That was good. We hit, we opened three uh, 15k packs. We hit like 84s and all sorts, man. And we hit uh, we hit a hunter and a shadow. Oh, look at that, man! Gold pack method is just 
it's, it's just where it's at. We'll do another one now. Clarson, he's going to sell. Uh, we could have had. Let, let's just let's just let's just do one more 15k. I'm not addicted. You're addicted. We made profit. We're in profit. We're making bank right now. Look at that boards. No, just kidding. Shadow. Shadow. Oh, look at that. I needed those players anyway. So that's that's technically a win. We got EA. Oh my god. Look at that. An anchor, a thousand coins, and a pack. We're actually going to make profit off of that pack. Sentinel will go up as well. It's not much right now, but it will go up. It's one of those chem styles. A gold pack for free. Oh, I love that. Platinum Heart is always a good one to sell too. Let's get ourselves a draft. I, I need the new Prime Icons, man. Zidane, Crespo, whoever else is in here. I'll take Socrates just because I love him. Come on, Crespo. Come on, Crespo, man. We go with Hume Min Son. Come on, Zidane, man. Wait, is Zidane a centre mid? If Zidane's a centre mid, we're not going to get him. Oh, let's go. Come on. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Come on, give me Petit now. No, oh, I'll take Kante though. Let's go, man. We're going to use Zidane for the first time. Oh, do I take that Willy Carvalho? I think I do. Him and Kante together are nice. Come on. Is Zanetti still in, in the draft? Ooh. Oh, I've got to take Jordi Alba. Swap him over. Swap him over. Jordi Alba is just the best left back in the game. Give me that blue Give me that blue Sergio Ramos, man. No, we'll take Diego Carlos, though. He's not too shabby. Come on, I'll still take that Ramos right now. Van Dijk is nice. Right, Trent. I'll take the Shadow Chem style right there. I don't, Allison in goal would be ideal, actually. going to take the hair and hope that we get one of either a Premier League center back or a Spanish center back. That is a sick draft so far. That is a sick draft. All right, let me take the basic chem style. Put onto the hair. How many? Ooh, Kuli Bali, Jao Cancelo as well. Jao Cancelo has got to be the one. Wraps up that Premier League right hand side very nicely. Okay, we want a chem style here. I already have a lot of hunters, don't I? I've got two shadows. Three hunters or four hunters already. I don't need a hunter. Let me take an anchor. Uh, we'll take him. I've got some shadows and some anchors now. We're in a good spot there. Don't care about any of those. Go for rating. Next up. I just got to take Nakata. That's three icons. If I can get my fourth and then fifth icon. Thank you, Ronaldo. Shadow on Ronaldo too. You saying Cole Walker over Jao Cancelo? I think so, right? I might even go Cancelo at centre back instead of Carlos. Like that. I like that. I think that's a better setup. Oh man. I go over Tongan at centre back. Or we could take Griezmann for another cam spot. If we take Robertson, we're one Premier League player away from having a full Premier League set up. If we take Neymar, we'll have Ronaldo and Neymar as cams. Gotta be done. Gotta be done. Neymar's gotta be the one. This is a monster draft. That 189. That is. This could be my first 190. Oh my god, let's go, man. Crespo, get in there, son. And son, you can get in there, son, as well. This has to be a 190. I've still got two picks. I've got an, an, a 79 and an 82 on the bench. This has to be a 190. Jeez. There it is. That's the 190. It has to be. No, it's not. Right, let me sort out chem souls. Right, so we want... Shadow. 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 I don't really need a shadow on him. Let me put a shadow on Kante. Let me put the anchor on. Uh, let me put... Oh, do I need a shadow on Walker either? No. Do I have two anchors? Put an anchor down there. 
Can we put a shadow on Carvalho? We get a hunter on the attackers. Draft is all about pace, man. Draft is just about that pace. But I've got one shadow spare, so I might as well just give it to Carl Walker. And then I want basic on David De Gea. Where's my goalkeeper? There he is. All right, so that's, that's what my chem styles are going to look like. Five shadows, four hunters, and an anchor. Right, I, need, I just need a big player here, man. And we can get our 190. Oh, it's done. We're definitely getting a 190 off of that. There's no two ways about it. Let's go. If I don't get a 190 off of this, this, this is rigged. This has to be. What, what an absolute insane draft. I'm not even kidding either. Like, this is a monstrous draft. David De Gea there. There's a 189 before Salah goes on. This has to be a 190. It is. And of course, it's my first ever 190 when I'm not recording for Draft to Glory and it's for video. My bench is disgusting. Ronaldo, Mbappe and Neymar going to be replacing Son, probably Crespo and definitely uh, Socrates. For a manager, I just need a Premier League manager, please. There we go. Frank Lampard will do. We'll just get Cancelo up to... Oh, wait. Cancelo's only on five. Ooh. Would I rather have Van Dijk on... Ah, oh, that's tough. He's still all right on five, isn't he? He's still going to be all right on five. Because he's got a shadow, he's still going to be all right on five. I'll show you guys what he looks like with the shadow. Walker at centre-back. Yeah, I might play Van Dijk and Cancelo on seven, but then also um, William Carvalho loses chemistry there as well. Maybe Robertson was the, uh, was the one. Have a look what he looks like on... Uh... Still gets, yeah, I mean, his pace is great. His defending is a little bit meh, but... Or we could do that, go down to 19 chem, but he'd have a much better boost. He still has a sick boost, and Carvalho still has a pretty sick boost. Just depends if... It depends what I want, really, doesn't it? Walker at centre-back? That doesn't really... Uh, that, that, that's the same... Because Walker is a better centre back, isn't he? He's got better base defending. Yeah, and no, I think you're right there. In which case, we'd do that. Get Walker on seven. Yeah, I like that. And Van Dyke on seven. I think that's got to be the one. I don't know. Ha! This guy's got Puyol. Puyol pants down. Am I right, guys? Yo, uh, Greasy back. I wouldn't really punch you in the face, man. Please don't report me. Thanks. I love you, Greasy Back. I see you in here all the time. You're my, you're my favorite, dude. You're, you're one of the best. Hello, everyone. The weather for Greasy Back's like, Mom, he said he wants to punch me in the face. And that's exactly what we've got. Oh, Tekkers. Ooh. Oh, uh, we're up against the guest, guys. I didn't even see. They do pass the ball with authority. He's managed to lose a... Zinedine Zidane. Goal. Banger. Getting close to a second here. Come on, Zidane. Oh, man. He's magic. He's absolute magic. That is lovely play. Come on, Ronaldo. Oh, my days, please. Jesus Christ, I deserve that. I deserve that a lot. Got work in the ball, man. Got work in the ball. Got work in the ball. Let's go. Got work in the ball. Come on. Look at their team name. Is that not a foul there? No, that should be hot. All right, good game, guys. I mean, I struggled through that one. The gameplay in that game. I'm glad. I, I'm glad I won because now, like, if I lose and I'm like, oh, the gameplay was bad and there was mad what we call an input delay or whatever it's called. People are like, oh, you're just making excuses. But when I win, and I can say to you guys, that was just impossible, man. That was just impossible. Like, look at that. I dominated this game, and I struggled to win. And that comes from, like, just horrendous, like, unresponsive gameplay and stuff, man. Like, 
yeah, it, compensation lag, whatever the hell it's called, man. Like, it's just tough, man. It's just tough. All right, so we are turning in uh, a team, mostly untradeables, for um, Akuna Matada. Means no worries. Uh, Rufio untradeable. Aspid Equator untradeable. Matip untradeable. Costil, one of our red informs. Ruben Diaz from the Liga Nos. Jorginho, who is tradable. Kovacic untradeable. Elvedi untradeable. Pedro untradeable, but position changed. Uh, but it's only like a 200 coin position change. Matthias Kuna untradeable because we're going to replace him when we re when we complete the Bundesliga again. And then Werner untradeable. Um, and that is Fatmas Akuna Matata. Let's go. I'm happy to have him in the club. I don't think we're going to get much use out of him. Um, just because to put here... Like, I wouldn't mind using him and Bataglia. But that would mean getting rid of Tonali. And I'm relatively attached to Tonali. Um, so it's a weird one. Like, it, it would open up a lot of possibilities for me to squad build, though, if I did get rid of uh, Tonali. Um, so we'll have a think about that. Maybe for maybe for the Foot Champs games tomorrow, we'll play Akuna and Bataglia and, and work on someone else getting in the team. Um, but for now, uh, let's get back into the draft. Team that is. Although his centre-backs are trash, but he has changed chem styles. So this is definitely... I would not be surprised... If this was a if this was a stream sniper because he's changed chem styles, uh, not that that always means that it's a stream sniper, but I gotta get Socrates off. Socrates just doesn't have it. I need to get name Neymar on. I think. That's lovely. That's lovely. That's lovely at last. Oh, I deserve that. I've had my chances, but there we go. Zinedine Zidane coming up trumps again. Let's get Neymar on on that left-hand side. I need the agility and the skill moves. Socrates is just too heavy. That's the one. That's got to be a goal. Let's go, Crespo. That was a lovely play. Dan lad. Woo, too much sauce on it. Who would you say is better? 96 Zidane or 95 Pele? So I played a lot of drafts with Pele, and he was unbelievable over like prolonged periods of time so i think like my history of pele is just a lot deeper where i can say like look he's just he's just unrivaled at the moment obviously i don't have that many games i have like what this is game two on zidane right um and i think it's important to say first of all Z zidane is just insane he's just always in the right place at the right time his stamina seems to be a bit low. He does seem to be tired in games. I don't know what his stamina in game is, um, but he feels great right now. He feels he feels super good, and that's another game, guys. Three nil rage quit in that game, and I still struggled. Like this this game right this game this weekend. That's why they extended the weekend league, and you know that they you, you know EA last year, man. They would not extend the weekend league unless it was like a travesty of what went on. The fact that they've already extended it because of the matchmaking means that there's huge issues right now. Um, but yeah, this Zidane, he feels great so far, man. And with the Hunter as well, 97 acceleration, 97, 93 sprint speed, 98 positioning, 97 finishing, 99 shot power, volleys and penalties up at 99s. His passing is unbelievable. A bit low on agility, but the rest of his dribbling is exceptional. His physicals are great. I mean, it's just a great card. It's just a great card. All right, into the semi-final we go. What team that is? Mane, De Bruyne, Kante, Messi, Overmars Prime. And another one with Kemstar switched. Shadows on the centre-backs. Jeez. All right, let's get it. Let's give it our best. Yeah, this, that, that's a good draft. My draft is good as well, mind you, but this guy's got a sick draft too. On Son, that five-star week for OP. <laughs> guys, if you're front four... Like I assume most people play with four attackers, right? Whether it's two strikers, two cams, or uh, three cams and a striker. If your front four doesn't consist of everybody having at least five-star weak foot or five-star skill moves, you are honestly just hurting yourself. And that's what it's like for me with Ian Wright. You know what I mean? Like Ian Wright... Oh my God, it's too much sauce on that. Ian Wright is just not good enough because he's three-star, four-star. Four-star, four-star is, is, is acceptable. But you need five star on some players, all players, most players. You just need it. On Zidane, bangs it. Ooh, Zidane's sick. But it also could mean that you genuinely come up against like four really like low level players throughout the whole draft. 
Oh, that's it. That's goals. Oh, that's it. We're into the final. 3 0 up, 15 minutes in. That's, that, that's the Crespo that I like. Just running into the space like an absolute truck. Dude, buddy. Social media from you, from you. Wait, so a lot of you guys got your tips from me. Like, I just, I get the meta. Like, I, I have a feeling, you know, last year, and like FIFA 17 and FIFA 18, I was always very confident that I would hit Elite 1 because I always felt like I was just always teetering on the edge. And I eventually did on those two. Last year, I never felt like I was going to hit Elite 1. And this year, again, I don't ever, I don't, I, no, sorry. This year, I do feel like I can hit Elite 1 this year. This year, I feel like I can go 30 and 0. I feel like when I play good FIFA this year, I feel like I'm unstoppable because I play with like not meta teams and I still like dominate, right? You know, we've, we've gone 14 and 1 uh, two weekends in a row. I know that's not the same as going like to Elite or anything. Like the, the thing that I need this year to really like progress is I need to play consistently against high level players so that I can get used to playing in that level. That's that. And I, I don't even mean pro players or top 100 players. I just need to play elite level players a lot more um, so that I can make sure that when I go into those, you know, in, in foot champs, if you get like the way matchmaking works, for me, there was that one weekend that I matched four pros in one weekend. I don't think I've matched a pro player at all other than that this year, right? So it's unlikely that I'm going to come up against a top 100 player or a pro player, which means I'm going to be coming up against elite players for my elite games. So if I can learn how to beat the elite players consistently, you know, 80, 90, 100% of the time, that's when I think I can go 30 and 0. When I, when I opened some rewards, whose rewards did I open? I opened top 100 rewards this week. He had such a standard team. He had such a standard team, man, and he still went 30 and 0. And I'm thinking to myself, damn, man, if I like that's that's another thing that like, motivates me. I'm like, Jesus, if I can actually put like a sick team together because I've got like the means and the time to do so. Who's 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 to say like how, what would stop me? You know what I mean? What would stop me from being a good player? And I know the the uh, the sad answer is when I get stressed in this game, I get nervous. I start playing really bad FIFA and that's where I let myself down. Um, That's where I let myself down. And the only way to get better at that is to play at that level more consistently so it doesn't become nervous anymore it just becomes the norm you know all uh, right good win there guys we're into the final i forgot to show his team for the video sorry guys i'll show it afterwards um hopefully we can pick up a good win here and get a draft win hello 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 out of the rewards i made loads of i made loads of coins i'm not going to tell you specifically what i got but i made a good good amount of coins right he messaged me afterwards. He got the 100k pack and the 35k pack as his reward. And he didn't, he, I mean, he obviously made profit, but he didn't get anything. And it's like, it's crazy, man, how he can win the draft and get the sickest reward and still not make as much as me after losing the draft. Oh, look at that. That's goals. That's goal. That's the draft one, mate. That's it over. I'm not losing from here. Yeah, he knows it. He knows it. He's gone. That's a goal. There we go. 3-0. Let's go. That's game over. Are you going to think I'm going to cut to Sun? Oh, that's four. That's four. Bangs it. That is draft over. That's it, guys. It's done. It's over. It's finished. It's finished. What, what a clean draft, man. First two games were difficult. Let's have a look at that guy's team just for the video. So we had Aguero. I think it was Scream Aguero. Messi and Mbappe. Socrates, Mane, Son. He subbed off Pogba and Wijnaldum for... Look, at he puts Mane and Son in midfield. Uh, Walker, Van Dijk, Ramos, and, and Jordi Alba. Uh, and then Alisson in goal. Um, and that's that. That's that's that big dub. Oh, that's that big dub. Come on, what are we going to get for rewards, EA? Hook us up, baby. No, hook us down. 4-3, 3-0, 5-1, 4-0. 67 now from 118 draft entries. That's a good return. That is 355 to 51. I'm very, very, very happy with that right now. And uh, Zidane was an animal. Animal, what do we get? 50k and a 5k. That's what you said, Leon. Uh, Prude, thank you for the 500, man. Um, I'm going to read that just after I open these rewards here. Come on, 5k pack method OP. Is that boards? It's not. It's not. Would have been nice if it was. Would have been nice. Come on, 50k pack, man. That's pretty brutal, that is, isn't it? 
That's one of the worst 5k packs I think I've ever seen. That is a tough one. Merajutski is only like 400, 450 coins. And Fabian, yeah, he's cheap as well. That is genuinely one of the worst 5k packs I've ever seen. All right, yeah. 50k pack. I'm looking for about 10 to 12,000 coins to make this one work. I'm not even bored. That's embarrassing. This is one of those extremely rare occasions where you actually lose money by winning the draft. It doesn't happen very often at all, but from time to time it happens. And this is this is one of those occasions. I will struggle to get 15k back from this. We'll try our best to get the money back out of it, but it's like with every card going for like 800 coins, we'll make maybe like What's that like? Maybe maybe like eight or nine thousand coins from the fifty k pack. The the five k pack was one of the worst I've ever seen. Maybe two thousand. Yeah, we're we're probably going to lose like a thousand to two thousand coins, um, from uh, from this draft run. Fifty k packs. They're they're not usually that bad. It doesn't like you only need like one even one eighty three or one eighty four to make like profit overall. Wasn't for us on that occasion. That is tough. All right, guys. So we have completed the Turkish League SBC. I don't know how many coins I spent on this. Uh, I already have Guilherme as well. So we're going to take Arslan here. And uh, I'm more than happy to use both of these in League SBCs. Arslan's like an okay card on the face of it. But when you look at his in-game stats, he's, he's not super great. Uh, we've got some packs. Uh, should have some trade pass space now as well, which is quite nice. Oh, look at this menu lag. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, we're, we're still rocking some good coins. Uh, we're up at 1.3. Obviously, that Eden Hazard sold. I don't think I showed you guys. I sold him for 3.30, I think. Um, I took a little bit of a loss on him, but I'm going to be... I'll, I'll show you the new team uh, soon. Uh, we're just, again, we're just going to go in order. I'm not going to pick certain packs to open or not to open. Uh, we're just going to go in order, see what we get, hope that we get something good. Obviously, Shadows and Hunters would be nice. Ronaldo's and Messi's would be even nicer, but Prime Icons would be the absolute dream. Oops, let's keep that. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I think... Uh, I'm probably going to change my mind in tomorrow's video, but I think I'm back on the uh, I'm going to sell everything train right now. I think I'm going to clear out absolutely everything from this club and start from scratch. Just if it feels like that's the right thing for me to do. It feels like that's what everything inside me is saying. Hey, man, even if it costs, even if you lose out on some coins in the real short term, this is something that's going to be fun to do. You know, go and sell absolutely everything. See how many coins we've got for team of the year. And then start again, start doing bronze packs, start doing silver packs and, and just start from scratch. Obviously, we could still um, trade and, and manage the club well in the meantime. Uh, it's not to say that we're never going to buy anything or open any packs or anything. It's just that that's how we're going to run the club. We're just going to constantly try and sell as much as we can um, and uh, and go from there. So uh, if, if it turns out to be the wrong thing, that sucks. But I'm I'm very interested to see how many coins I'll have after everything sells. Um, you know, it could be somewhere close to 10 million. I'd be very surprised if it's less than five or six million. Um, but it could be as as you know up towards 10 million. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see. So so far, Cam Center Mid's quite nice. That's what like two and a half k, something like that. Yeah, two point eight k. Very nice. We'll drop that straight up uh, right there. Um, Thomas Party can go. And you can see by just by the number of uh, duplicates I have as well that my club is stacked. Right, small election players pack, guys. The Turkish League's not a bad one, man. Turkish League's real cheap from, from scratch. Even if you have none of the cards, you, you're paying like 100k-ish, maybe 120k. Um, and you get some good packs back. You know, a lot of mixed players packs and stuff. But uh, if we get any, um, any obviously, cards that are good for League SBCs, silvers specifically... Just nice profits, you know, uh, some good coins made back. I, I think you'd struggle to not make at least like 50, 60, 70K of your coins back. Even if you had like terrible pack luck, I reckon you still make 50 to 70K back. You just need the odd good thing here or there to get back up towards that big mount. Like there's a good thing right there. This guy's like, he actually close to extinct. Wait, why on earth did I see cards there for like one day and stuff? Why are they there first? He's always a nice card to get anyway. He's always like a good couple of K. Um, 
this guy could be quite a li little bit as well yeah look at that four and a half well three and a half k there so we'll, we'll drop him up as well get some coins off of that so and that's that that's that's why it's so easy to make money back off of this stuff you just get the odd silvers here that sell for twos and threes the odd gold here shanatra is a guy a card that used to sell does he still sell not for as much uh, but he's definitely one that goes for a decent amount um and that that's you know just off that pack alone we're like 10k back off of that overall so it's it's not too bad uh, and obviously i've already opened like a lot of the silver packs you know uh, the prime silver player packs and the rare silver player packs and and a few silver regular packs uh, we've already opened those so um we we would have got some coins back off of those look at that 800 coins for him as well i'll take that uh french league striker just 400 coins crazy how uh some um some bronzes are worth more than gold it's crazy I might list him up still. It looks like he's been price fixed at 1100. Maybe we'll get uh, one of these. Oh, so premium mix, small rare, small rare, small rare, small rare. So we've got four small rare mix players packs to go. There's only, you know, eight rare cards in that for gold. But if we do get a little bit lucky, who knows what we might get, you know? Maybe we'll pick up, maybe we'll be one of those guys that gets an icon as a silver card. Only one way to find it. Ooh, Paderborn, let's go, man. He's not an expensive Paderborn player, but we'll, we'll drop him up. Um... Look at, look at all these dupes, man. I'm literally going to run out of trade pass space again. I'm going to have to be smart with what I sell here. Go for 200. No way this guy's anything, is he? Okay, he's got a 300 bid on him. We'll, we'll list him 250. Paul, we'll list this guy 250. Uh, this guy's not worth anything. We'll discard this guy. And this guy probably is also discard. Yeah, he won't even sell for 350 on open bid. Uh, and then this guy will drop up for a thousand. That's not too bad. Um, so four small rare mixed players packs. I don't know if this is going to be the end of the video today or if there's going to be maybe a little bit more. I, I, I have a feeling it might be the end of the video. I will sign out differently anyway after these packs. But uh, Paulista, nothing there. Rudiger again. That's like the fourth time we packed him today. Nice little 1200 coins for us there. Um, small rare mix player pack number two. Can we get one board out of these packs? Would be nice. Oh, we can. Let's go. Come on, EA. Not a walkout. That's too bad. Uruguay. Jimenez. Jimenez. Hey, very nice. And that's another 10K back. There you go. See, this is very easy to make your coins. Uh, very easy to make your coins off of this, man. Jesus Christ. I hate that when it does that, man. Very nice indeed. 10,000 coins for Jimenez. Uh, Juventus goalkeeper. We'll hold on to him. We can use him. Uh, and then Adarese for about the third time today as well. Uh, so that's that's pretty good. I'm, 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 I'm just happy with that even. Like that with, with all the items that we've got and saved and stored and stuff. We, we've definitely turned a profit off of this league SBC. Which is uh, the win of course. Um, we'll get Bender there list him up we'll just click and tunez up he was actually selling for like 12 1300 earlier and then cuthbert i mean if we can get 300 great if not i'll just discard him and then last but not least the final small rare mixed players pack what are we say in ea boards come on to end it not a walk out again vanish come on be out iago aspas fabian we'll hold on to him as well he'll be useful for next time around uh the syria sbc so very nice indeed guys so yeah I, I don't know i don't know how long the video is so far so i don't know whether i'm going to end it here or put in a fair bit more but for now i'll be right back and then to end off today's video guys uh it is a long one um i wondered how long it was going to be it's going to be pretty pretty deep pretty long this is the squad that we built for the rest of the weekend league uh, i went and bought carver how i actually sniped him uh, nice and cheap with a shadow he, he sells for 15k anyway and then 17k with a shadow i sniped him for 13 750 with a shadow on him already so we had to make some profit on him once we're done um so it'll be carver how varan pk and Jordi alba uh, with Ter Stegen in goal now that gets all my back line on full chem uh david v is going to be my striker uh with uh, de bruyne zola and politano as my cams and then we're going to use battaglia and akuna as our two cdms i'm only playing to 14 wins so hopefully it's going to be a bit of a fun team de bruyne and david v are on eight chemistry um zola's on nine because i'm not wasting a center forward to cam card on him i'd rather just play with him on nine uh then we've got a, a bench of, of players that i just 
far really enjoy. Uh, Di Maria, Aguirre, Garay, Jonathan, Tonali, and Kent. Got right on there. Like we we got so many players now. Right, you know when I got right, it was going to be one of those. He'll be in every team forever for the rest of the game. I can't, man. I just can't play with a guy. Like I love right, and I love the fact that we're going to get to a hundred goals with him. You know, I'll make sure of that. And the fact that we've we have him in our club for for the rest of the year. But I can't um I can't play with a card that makes me frustrated. If, if you ignore the fact that it's Ian Wright, if that just said any other random name, I would never take a card that has medium, medium work rates, four star, three star, and these stats. I just never would. His passing's too bad. His dribbling is very mid range. He's got great physical shooting and pace. And if he had five star, four star, or four star, four star, or if he had high low work rates or high medium work rates, I'd be all over this card. I'd be like, look, this is a banging, banging card that I can enjoy thoroughly. Um, but because he's a, a few of the things that are just important to be good in in fifa 20 i just can't use him uh, like so we'll use him in sbcs where we need links not sbc sorry he's in teams where we need links and we'll use him um in squads where it requires first own english or first owner players in general we can use him for that um but that guy's going to be the squad so you're going to see a gameplay from there obviously weekend league got extended for those of you that don't know so we still got a day 16 hours to get up to our 14 wins um yeah that's going to be the squad that we're going to use tomorrow uh, but for now, that's going to be the end of the video. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.